ग्रासपिंग द रिकॉर्ड तो हु विल टेल मी वट आर कैन ऑल रेज हरियप रेज योर हैंड हरियप वट आर कैन ऑल रेज दिस इज discussion of the question answer come assessment okay very nice see ninth d students are raising their hand you all are sleeping yes ma'am can all rays are the positive rays coming from anode yes please say it again your uh, actually your voice is not clear just i am raising the volume of speaker yes ma'am can all rays are the positive rays coming from anode is not coming from anode it seems to be originate from anode actually it originate between anode and the cathode okay you are right they are positively charged but they are not actually they are coming from anode it seems to be coming from anode that is why these are also known as anode rays theek okay? hai okay these consist of a positive charge ions yes yes uh, gushan is writing i'll not see now your chat box i want your answers here that everyone must listen and clear their concepts theek hai will not not write on the chat box theek hai to canal rays are the positive charge rays it consist of positive charge ions theek and it seems to originate from anode but it originate between the space of anode and cathode now next is if an atom contain one electron and one proton will it carry any charge or not this is very simple i think all will give the answer of this yes navedika yes it will not carry any charge uh, it will not carry any charge mm -hmm. yes because the positive charge on the proton mm -hmm. neutralizes the negative charge on the electron because the positive charge and the negative charge equal in magnitude even charge bhi same hota hai charge bhi different nahi hota jitna proton positive carry karta hai 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 उतना ही इलेक्ट्रॉन नेगेटिव कैरी करता है सेम चार्ज है तो मैग्नीट्यूड इज ऑल्सो सेम दैट इज वाई इट विल बी न्यूट्रल सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ थॉमसन मॉडल ऑफ एन एटम एक्सप्लेन हाउ द एटम इज न्यूट्रल एज अ होल यस विल एक्सप्लेन बी द जे जे थॉमसन मॉडल यस जी एंड जानवी सी बेटी यू आर से Yes. According to the Thomson model, an atom consists of a positively charged sphere, and the electrons are embedded in it. The okay. negative and the positive charges are equal in magnitude, so the atom as a whole is electrically neutral. Very nice. So, the negative charged particle are embedded in the positively charged sphere, and they are equal in number and magnitude too. that is why the atom as whole is a neutral so the next question is on the basis of rutherford model which sub atomic particle is present in the nucleus of the atom yes rutherford ko bhi kiska nahi pata tha yes yes tanvi now next question You will not write in the chat box. I already told you. I will not read today. I have not opened your chat box. You will only give the answer here. Yes, Bette. As per Rutherford's model of an atom, the protons which are positively charged are present in the nucleus of an atom. Very nice. Protons are present as neutrons were not discovered at that time. So sketch. You can sketch the Bohr model we have done. Okay, with the nucleus. With the nucleus. and with the shells are there you can show the cell uh, shells or orbits and these are discrete energy level in this nucleus there are neutrons and proton neutron is having no charge and this is a proton and here are the electron for example this is a helium and the shell is known as k then l then m 
and they are also denoted by the integer the value is n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 so you can sketch it very well so next question is name the three subatomic particles of an atom this is very easy this all will give the answer yes yes anshia prashant the next prashant tan proton yes. neutron proton which is positively charged electron which is negatively charged and neutron which has no charge no charge so these are the subatomic particles present in the atom okay so the next question is so the next question is helium atom as atomic number 4 two protons in its nucleus how many neutrons does it have so simple yes yes gurshan yes beta you can give the answer two neutrons how many neutrons two two hai na so what is atomic mass ya mass number it is number of neutron plus proton now the mass is given to you it is 4 you have to find number of neutrons protons are given to you is 2 that is 4 minus 2 you will get the answer that is 2 neutrons are present okay so the next question is write the distribution of electron in carbon and sodium atom yes who will tell me the distribution in carbon first no new hand to be raised or the previous one again gurshan jia janvi where the rest these 90 can participate too anshia yes or koi ha uh, again from the 9d only one hand is raised where the rest you have studied the chapter no new hand yes so four from 9c and one from 9d okay dipali is raising the hand yes dipali what is the electronic configuration of the carbon mam electronic configuration of carbon is 2 comma 4 and electronic configuration of sodium is 2 comma 8 comma 1 so carbon which is having atomic number 6 in the k shell there will be two electrons then l shell there will be four okay when this kind of question come you uh, have to tell the shell occupied also like this or in the end you will write that is 2 comma 4 in case of sodium so k shell will be having two l will be having eight and m will be having one that is 2 8 now i am erasing the previous one as the board will not be clear okay bete so the next question already the hands are raised abhi maine question bola bhi nahi theek hai so you will write the shell number to klm and then you will do so the next question is 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 if k and l shells of an atom are full what will be the total number of electrons yes so no 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 new hand ishani is raising the hand okay yes ishani ma'am there will be 10 electrons in the atom uh, because the first shell can according to 2 n square the first shell can occupy two electrons and the second shell at the maximum can occupy eight electrons the total will be 10 electrons in that atom so 2 into 1 square means there are two 2 into 2 square to the 4 then there are 8 electron this rule you have already done in the class 2 okay so the next one is how will you find the valency of chlorine sulfur and magnesium okay how you will find the valency of chlorine 
magnesium and sulfur yes no new hand the previous one yes anshika anshia yes and the hmm. the atomic number of chlorine is 17 so its electronic configuration will be 287 hmm. and uh, and the valency will be 8 minus 7 which is minus 1 it will Or, be uh, okay 8 minus 7 8 minus 7 1 so 1 it how you will predict which is the valency minus 1 or positive 1 मगर फोर्स से कम है तो प्लस में होगी और अगर फोर्स से ज्यादा है तो माइनस में ठीक है वैलेंसी ऑफ द एटम्स इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रेजेंट इन द शेल ऑफ द एटम अगर वैलेंसी बेटे लेस देन फोर है तो इट विल बी लाइक इफ आई एम टेकिंग आपको कौन कौन सा पूछा गया है मैग्नीशियम तो मैग्नीशियम की कॉन्फ्रिकेशन क्या है टू एट टू ठीक है the configuration is 2a2 now the valency will be yes anshu plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 because uh, the valence uh, shell contains electrons less than 4 hmm. if the valence shell electron the rule says if the valence shell electrons are less then four okay then valency is equal to the valence shell electron okay okay if it is a less than four and if it is more than four like valence shell electron in the chlorine there are seven to so eight minus seven will be one so valency will be one means it can combine with one atom if you are providing it to uh, if you are providing with an atom which have valency two so two chlorine will combine like in mgcl2 okay in the case of three case you got in the case of sulfur so what is the atomic number of sulfur 16 16 so it is 2 8 in the valence shell there are six electrons that is more than four when the electrons are in more than four then 8 minus 6 will be 2 so this by the, this rule you can find out the valency the valency same as the number of electron if the valence shell electron have the electrons less than Or equal to four. If the valence shell electron have more electron than four, then the valency will be eight minus the number of electrons present in it. Okay. Now let us talk about the next question. Okay. So, pehli hand raise hai, mare very nice. Let me read. If a number of electrons in an atom is eight. And number of proton are eight. What is the atomic number and what is the charge on the atom? Very good. New hand, no new hand is raised again. Ninth D doesn't want to participate. So so much easy. The chapter is so much easy. Yes, Dipali. yes ma'am ma'am if there are eight number of electrons and eight number of protons atomic number is 8 mm -hmm. and uh, charge will be minus 2 charge will be minus 2 how it is charge is minus 2 if the number of proton and uh, electrons are same there will be no charge it must be neutral isn't it yes ma'am hmm so if If the number of protons are eight given to you, अच्छा अगर number of protons are eight given to you, what is the atomic number of an element? Hmm? Eight. 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 Eight.
एट ना एलिमेंट का नेम क्या है बेटे एलिमेंट का नेम क्या है यस गुरशान यस गुरशान यस यू कैन अनम्यूर यस करणवीर मैम ऑक्सीजन यस ऑक्सीजन दिस हैविंग यस ऑक्सीजन इज हैविंग नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन दैट इज 8 नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट इज 8 एंड एटॉमिक नंबर इज नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन और नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन and more precisely we say as number of proton not the electron mic bit mute unmute ho gaya tha aapka mic so next question with the help of the table table must be given to you find out the mass number of oxygen and sulfur atom theek hai mass number of oxygen and sulfur atom Yes, who will tell me the mass number? Yes, Jia, you can give the answer, bete. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, in oxygen, the number of protons are eight, and number yes. of neutrons are also eight. Mm -hmm. uh, so, atomic number uh, is equal mass to number of protons, that is eight. Uh, so, atomic num mass number is equal to protons plus neutrons is equal to sixteen. number of proton plus number of neutron neutrons neutron that is 8 plus 8 8 plus 8 16 and other 16. sulfur in the sulfur number of protons are 16 hmm. and atomic number is also 16 neutrons are also 16 so hmm. atomic atomic hmm. mass number is equal to 32 hmm. So what is mass number? That is number of proton plus number of neutron. As all the neutron. mass is concentrated in the nucleus. Okay. So the next question is for the symbol H, D, and T. That is the three isotopes of hydrogen, protonium, deuterium, and tritium. There are three isotopes. What you have to do? You have to tabulate three sub atomic particles found in each case so you have hydrogen then you have deuterium then tritium then you have to write the number of the particles how many electrons are present how many protons and how many neutrons yes yes but you will give me the answer how many again the same hands are raised again Yes, Jia and Janvi. Yes, now you both are raising. Then you will get the yes, bitte. I mean, hydrogen proton is one, neutron is zero, and electron is one. No, atomic number the same hai. So hydrogen me electron proton R one one. So how many electron and protons are there in deuterium? Ma'am, electron is one, neutron, proton is one, and neutron is one. Ah, so you get atomic. These are the isotopes. These are the atoms of same elements. See, again and again, I am saying in the definition in the exam, you will write atoms of same element. They are not same element. They are atom of same element with. Atomic number is same means electron, proton are same. What is the difference? The difference in the mass number means proton plus neutrons. Here is the mass number one. Here is the mass number two. And how many electron and protons are there in this? Ma'am, proton is one, electron is one, and neutron is two. So the what is the mass number here? It is. B. This is the mass number, and this is the atomic number. These are isotopes. So the next is 
राइट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंफ्रीगेशन ऑफ एनी ऑफ द पेयर ऑफ आइसोटॉप एंड आइसोमर एनी ऑफ द पेयर यस एनी ऑफ द पेयर यस वो विल टेल मी नो वन इज रेजिंग द हैंड ऑल हैव गोन टू स्लीप यस अंशिय एनी टू आइसोटॉप की इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंफ्रीगेशन तो इसकी तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंफ्रीगेशन Yes, you will give me one of the isotope. Yes, बेटे. Um, carbon twelve atom and carbon fourteen. Okay, you have taken carbon twelve. Let me write. Carbon twelve with atomic number six. Carbon fourteen with atomic number six. So what is that? These are two isotopes. So what is the electronic configuration of these isotopes? Two comma four. Two comma four. That is in the K shell. There are two. In the L shell, there are four. Now give me an example of isobar. Calcium and argon. Now calcium and argon. Okay. So what is the atomic number of calcium? Twenty. Twenty. What is the mass number of calcium? Forty. What is the atomic number of argon? Eighteen. Hmm. What is the mass number? Forty. Forty. Okay. So these are the isobar, which are the atoms of different element, which have different atomic number but different same mass number. So what is the electronic configuration of calcium? Two comma eight comma eight comma two. What is the electronic configuration of argon? Two comma eight comma eight. Okay, so these are the electronic configuration of iso bar. Now, what are the iso bars? These are the atoms of different element having different atomic number but same mass number. Okay, having different atomic number and same. mass number now compare the properties of electrons protons and neutrons In the back exercise we came we have to compare the properties of electrons proton and neutron Okay, so who will compare the property of electron, proton, and neutron? Wohi hath, new hath ni. Tanvin has got the chance two times. Bhushan has gone. Ji and Janvi has gone. Got the uh, chance for two times. Anyone other? Navedita. Yes, Navedita. Navedita, where are you? Yes, Jia. Ma'am, electrons are uh, negatively charged particles. Yes, they Protons carry. Protons are positive. Ah, uh, they carry negative charge. They carry positive. And positive neutron, charge. And neutron. No, no charge. No. no charge. Any other? Ma'am, uh, electrons were discovered by J. J. Thomson. Uh, these are not properties, Betty. You have to compare the properties. Okay. Any other property? Electrons lie wait, outside wait, wait, the nucleus. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Yes, wait. Quantum. Um, electrons lie outside the nu nucleus. Where? Uh, ma'am, in the belts, rings. In the shells. Electron lies in the shells or orbits. Okay. Where Protons the... lie inside the nucleus. Ah, uh, they lie inside the nucleus, and so as neutron. Any other property? Uh, ma'am, charge on electrons is minus one. That is the same thing. No, bitte. The charge is not minus one, bitte. Actually, 
we considered as the unit positive or negative charge. Actually, the charge is one point six into ten raised to the power minus nineteen coulomb. We considered okay. as a unit charge that. Okay, both the charges are same. That is same. The magnitude is same and doesn't have any kind of charge. You can compare the mass too. Can you tell me the mass? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Uh, ma'am, uh, the mass of electron is one by one eight three eight u. One by one eight three eight. How? Kiske? Kiske compare me? You are saying, son. Otherwise, the mass of the value is one by one eight three eight u. Yes, ma'am. Kiske comparison? Me, you have said. Mama, uh, mom. Yesterday, I was just reading and I read there. Ah, uh, you have read uh, nicely. That is a comparison to a uh, other uh, subatomic particle mass. That is a comparison yes. to other uh, subatomic particle mass. But uska mass to hai mass. Maine uh, you haven't done. Unko to karwaya hai. Can anyone tell from nine C kya mass hai nitro uh, electrons ka? Yes, Tanvin. Yes, you can tell the mass of the electron. No, J and Janvi, we have done in the class also. Ma'am, mass of electron is nine point one into ten raised to power minus thirty one kg. Yes, what is the mass of proton? Ma'am, one point six seven into ten raised to power minus twenty seven. Yes, and same as of neutron. बेटे सी इलेक्ट्रॉन का मास बहुत कम है देखो 9.1 नहीं देखना आपने आपने देखना है आ, ये जो पावर है टेन रेस टू पावर माइनस थ्री वन माइनस थ्री वन का मतलब है कि इसको इतने से आपने डिवाइड करना है यहाँ पे क्या है ट्वेंटी सेवन यहाँ पे भी ट्वेंटी सेवन है प्रोटोन और न्यूट्रॉन का मास जो होता है वो बेटे बिल्कुल सेम होता है जो इतना है ठीक है इसका मास इतना है तो हम ये कहते हैं कि इसका मास जो है बेटे नेग्लिजिबल है जो आप वैल्यू बोल रहे हो दैट इज वन बाई एटीन हंड्रेड वो प्रोटोन से कंपेयर करके बोल रहे हो ठीक है कंपेयरिंग विद द प्रोटोन कि हम अगर प्रोटोन के साथ कंपेयर करें जितना प्रोटोन का मास है उसको आप अगर इतनी क्वांटिटी से मल्टीप्लाई कर दो तो उतना मास इलेक्ट्रॉन का बन जाएगा तो हम ये बोलेंगे कि ये जो मास है वो नेग्लिजिबल है ठीक है तो हम इलेक्ट्रॉन का जो मास है बोलते हैं बेटे नेग्लिजिबल है इट इज नेग्लिजिबल और ये क्या होता है ये वन है और ये भी वन ए एम यू कंसिडर होता है यू हैव टोल्ड वेरी करेक्टली तो आपने कंपेयर करके बोलना ओके फॉर द पॉइंट ठीक है तो यू हैव टू कंपेयर विद द प्रोटोन तो दीज आर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन the we can say electron protons and neutrons and this is the mass theek hai so the next question is time to be going up fatafat se khatam karte hain what are the limitation of jj thomson model of an experiment jj thomson ne koi hame acha model thodi na diya hai aise hi bol diya yes gulshan jaldi bolo limitation When the electrons are embedded all over the positively charged spheres. Ah, huh, the electron embedded all over in the positive charged spheres, and its limitation. Kya ye to model ke baare mein bata diya. What is the limitation? When protons are the... only in the center of the atoms, and electrons are distributed around it. No, it's not distributed. So it's not there. इसमें कहा डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर होते हैं इसमें तो हमें उसने वाटरमेलन वाला मॉडल रखे ने लगा दिया हमें कि पढ़ लो इसको देख लो ना कोई यही तो मेन है बेटे कि लिमिटेशन क्या है लिमिटेशन का मतलब है इसके ड्रॉबैक क्या है ड्रॉबैक बताने क्या इस मॉडल में कोई खासियत नजर आ रही है आपको एम ही वाटर दे दिया एम ही पुडिंग बना दी हमारे लिए ना कोई उसकी यही एक्सपेरिमेंटल एविडेंस ही नहीं है No experimental evidence. Yes, G and Jan. What do you want to say? Ma'am, it could not. 
its mother could not explain the stability of the atom that how the positive and negative charges remain close ha uh, it doesn't have any um, uh, experimental evidence and it also can't explain how the positive and negative charges can be remain like binding each other कुछ भी तो एक्सप्लेन किया हवा में हमें मॉडल दे दिया जी इलेक्ट्रॉन डिस्कवर हो गए जी एक प्रोटॉन डिस्कवर हो गया अब मैं क्या करूं एक मॉडल दे देता हूं जिसको एक वाटरमेलन की शेप दे देता हूं कि पॉजिटिव चार्ज सफियर है उसमें जो इलेक्ट्रॉन है वो इम्बेडेड है कुछ भी नहीं हमें बताया कोई स्टेबिलिटी बताई एटम की कोई न्यूक्लियस के बारे में बात करी कोई एक्सपेरिमेंट किया उस बंदे ने ठीक है उसने कोई बताया कि पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव चार्जेस जो है वो इकट्ठे कैसे रहते हैं कुछ भी नहीं बताया नथिंग कुछ बताया नहीं एमी पढ़ दो इस मॉडल में क्या है यस गुलशान यस यस मैम कुछ कहना चाहते हो यू आर रेजिंग द हैंड नो मैम अगले क्वेश्चन के लिए अच्छा अगला क्वेश्चन कर ली तैयार है आप तो लिमिटेशन बेटे बहुत है इसमें लिमिटेशन ही लिमिटेशन है जे जे थॉम्सन के मॉडल में येट ही हैव डन सो मेनी एक्सपेरिमेंट्स फॉर अस वो और एक्सपेरिमेंट तो बहुत कुछ करे हैं उसने इलेक्ट्रॉन वगैरह की डिस्कवरी के लिए मगर उसने हमें ये जो मॉडल दिया है ना इसके लिए कोई भी एक्सपेरिमेंट नहीं किया तो यू कैन राइट डाउन देर इज नो एक्सपेरिमेंटल एविडेंस ही कैन नॉट एक्सप्लेन द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ एट Uh, how positive and negative positive electrons and negative uh, sorry positive protons and negative electrons can stay so stably with each other how they are binding to each other no usne koi force ki baat hi nahi kari theek hai ka to model hi zero hai okay so the next is what is limitation of rutherford ha rutherford to tha wo usne to bahut acha experiment kiya hamare liye चलो लिमिटेशन आ गई वो अलग बात है हुई टेल मी द लिमिटेशन एग्जाम में भी आई थी आपके टेस्ट में भी यस yes. बस गुरशान विल टेल रेस्ट ऑल आर स्लीपिंग समवेयर और सिटिंग इन सन सन एंड हैविंग सन बाथ टुडे ऑल हैव स्विच ऑफ द वीडियोस एंड स्लीपिंग समवेयर है ना यस अंशिया यस Now, Jia, you will get the other chance. Hurry up. Rutherford was not able to uh, explain Maxwell's electromagnetic uh, theory. According to that theory, if any charged particle, such as electrons, uh, shows acceleration in the magnetic field of another charged body, such as proton, it loses energy and its radius becomes small, it and it falls into the nucleus, and hence the atom should be unstable. Hmm. means ultimately we can say that rutherford model failed to explain the stability of an atom as when a charged particle move that is an electron move in orbit it will certainly radiate some kind of energy and it will fall in the nucleus but in the reality we know that the uh, electron doesn't fall in the nucleus when it exhalate and it doesn't radiate energy so the model is given by rutherford is highly unstable okay so you can write yourself okay we'll meet next thursday ye ncert ke khatam karne ke baad we will do so so many of extra questions and abhi jinhone chapter nahi padha wo fir se pad lo theek hai and in the coming week you are not having any test copies kab send karni hai bete copies to send ho rahi hai group mein aapne dekha nahi gulshan अगुरपाल गुरशान चेक 